This is the Vyomir that came in, it was actually last week. I've had quite a lot of gear off this lad, he keeps sending nice little boxes of stuff in. Some I keep, some I give away. Uh, first things too, more tape or drills. Both need sharpening, but they are drills, 7 8 popular size. A little chuck, that's like a drill chuck off a electric drill. One of my hobby drill chucks are not very good, so that'll go onto there. In here I've got a nice DTI metric one. I like these ones because that colour face shows up good on a camera that you can see it's not it's not reflecting the white, it's John Bull. It's in good condition. It's obviously been looked after. And kept in this little box. That'll be a, a one for me to keep and I'll give one of mine away. And there's an AR32 collar chuck. I don't need it, I've got one. I've got a AR32 collar chuck that I use. So once again, that's going to be given away. Um, trouble is, it's not the sort of thing you can give away to anybody, somebody's got to want it. So what I might do is set up a, an eBay auction because I've got this and I've got that tool holder um, for the lathe tool post and obviously any, any money that's received I'll probably give to charity uh, these things were given away to me either to use or to be given away not to sell but if I do sell them which I probably will um, the money will go to charity I do quite a lot of machining for a lad and he's asked us if I can make him one of these. Not one of them, one of these. It's off some sort of garden barbecue or fire pit or whatever. It's made a tin and it's just rotted away. So I've done a, a drone and I'm going to cut a one out of this two mil plate, fold it and weld it up for him. It won't have the fancy curved edges but it'll be a lot stiff and a lot more rigid. And I've changed the design of these vent slots. And you will cut it out and uh, so we can get it welded up on. The idea is to fold these up along the lines, but I should have left a couple of little pieces in there just to stop a room when I fold it. I'm just going to put a little, a little tack of egg in the centre. 
just to stop it from moving. I know I should have my gloves on, I will put them on. Right, so we've got four tacks on there. Decent ones. We'll grind them flat and then fold it over. And then weld on the outside. I'll have to make a good job of welding it because the guy who's getting it is actually a welding engineer. That's what he does. It's bent quite nicely along the edge of the bench. Tie the corners up a little bit. I'm sure I'll be happy with that. Basically the same size. Certainly a lot more robust. This has now been cooking for 24 hours. I'll turn the power off. I checked on it last night at about 11 o'clock and the ammeter said zero uh, and the 12 volt side, the battery charge had stopped working, so I turned on the 6 volt side, it was still putting 3 amps in, and it's been there ever since. So we'll lift it out and see what sort of results we've achieved on it. It certainly appears to have removed or loosened up a lot of the rust. We'll give it a rinse in some clean water. Removed the paint anyway, and it has taken it down to clean bare metal. I'll bring the camera in so you can get a closer look at it. Now 
but you can clearly see that there is clean metal. It has taken all the, the loose rust off. The real heavy pitting in here, it's also softened up all of that. So yes, definitely has worked. It's just coloured that which was brass, it's turned that black but that'll polish up. That spindle there was really heavy rusted, just removed all that. Basically a wire brush there on this would clean up, ready to use. I'll put a little bit of oil on to stop it from going rusty. It's certainly a messy <laughs> procedure to light up my street really. Anyway. Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It does make a big difference. Anyway, thanks for watching.